When companies start out, they're always interesting. They have really interesting personalities. Uh, King C. Gillette, for example, had his face everywhere back in his day. Um, but eventually, companies grow and the suits take over. In the cases above, you have companies trading on heritage they've long since discarded. And so you end up with uh, this one, which showed up in the comments uh, for another video. Um, Gillette Wilkinson Sword, it's sort of like Nike by Adidas or the Fiat Mustang. Um, would you buy any of those products? I might if the price was right. But as an exercise in branding, it's a disaster. But uh, anyway, so we have Gillette Wilkinson Sword uh, made in India. There's the back side of the package. Um, apparently they're owned by Procter & Gamble as far as the rights in India are concerned. Um, the product itself is okay. I shaved with one for a week, never cut myself once. Um, interesting packaging. If you didn't know the history, it would just look like any of the others. If you do know the history, it's irritating. Um, so here's the blade itself, um, doesn't look as clean as it should, but it shaves well enough. So that's it, the Gillette Wilkinson Sword.